Hi Tsame and Mabuhai, welcome back to Philly Swiss. Kiehl's launched their new skin analysis technology and I got a chance to experience a skin consultation and try the Kiehl's Derma Reader at their boutique in Zurich. It provides a comprehensive deep skin analysis measuring eight concerns, four of which are surface skin concerns like wrinkles and fine lines, texture, surface spots, and enlarged pores. The other four are subsurface skin concerns like red areas, emerging brown spots, UV damage, and clogged pores. Now, let's unwrap more of this experience, so let's get started. All right, so we made it in front of Kiehl's and now we're gonna go inside and let's see what's in store for us. So they have their new Derma Reader. I'm looking forward to it. So let's see what damage we've had now from the festival season. So I came to the boutique with barely any makeup on. Like the most I've done was put on eyeshadow, eyeliner, and that was it. The rest is just skincare and it just makes it easier, I guess, to really see immediately or as clearly as possible what are my skin concerns. So the overall process actually took about a half hour and we started with checking for my skin type using the sebum patches. So it was there to see how much sebum my skin produces on the forehead and on the cheek area. Then we were able to check for the healthy skin assessment, measuring the strength of my skin barrier and my moisture levels. Then we finally got to the skin analysis, which is using the Derma Reader itself. Very fascinating, taking lots of pictures and uh, being able to see all those full size details of my face. Um, I don't know if you've had one before, but it's very fascinating to see the, <laughs> the little creases, the lines, oh, the spots <laughs> that you normally don't really see, or it's not as evident in the, like to the naked eye. And then we had the full explanation of the results and also the morning and night skincare routine recommendations. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. So it's time for the results and findings. Um, I would say I'm actually pretty happy with the results, especially since I was so concerned with what the festival season has done to my skin. If I have been uh, religious enough to actually follow my skincare routine day and night, you knowing that I've also gone to the open air and I don't really have access to all of my skincare products, just the main key products that I need to use every day. So I'm actually really satisfied with the score that I received. So first, of course, we knew that uh, my skin type was a combination. On the forehead, it was normal. On the cheeks, it's dry. And we know this very well. I feel it all the time. And also then my skin health. So my skin protective barrier was actually 82% and the moisture level is 85%. Now the optimal is obviously like 90% uh, up to 100. So I'm still not so far away from it. I can still get there. So it's not bad for, for, for the scoring. And my skin concerns or needs, well, we need to soften the wrinkles and lines that are starting to appear on my forehead, especially. Um, that comes, uh, at least I was told, from my reactions. And when I laugh, I'm pretty sure I start having some uh, wrinkles appearing in certain areas, especially when I'm smiling and also making these random faces when I'm on Kumu live streaming. So that's not new as well. Also, uh, I need to protect or repair my skin from UV damage. So there are some areas that still need that kind of protection or help to repair. Uh, treating blemishes, one of these irritable 
outcomes of having a blemish is me having to wait until finally the redness uh, starts to disappear or lighten and it takes a long time for me to be able to recover from these and of course last but not the least moisturizing my skin i feel so dehydrated regardless of the season and the last thing i also want is during this time of uh, the summer heat and it gets really warm now it's actually we're gonna have these like uh heat waves so i start to have some redness especially around the neck area um inside my elbow crease so this is one of the things that i start to feel itchy when it gets really hot and then some uh sp like red spotting as well so i need to always make sure that i have either after sun gel or um what they gave me now from kios the calendula petal infused calming mask and this should help as well calm or soothe um whenever i'm having these issues as well So now we know what my main concerns are or what the priority is now in terms of what I need to do to help my skin get even healthier than where it is at the moment. Here are some of the recommendations that I was given for my morning and my nighttime routine. So from cleansing to the toning to the eye cream, these are pretty much the same for both morning and night. I would be using the Ultra Facial Cleanser, which is a gentle facial cleanser for all skin types. It is paraben-free and synthetic fragrance-free. For toning, I will use, I will continue to use the Ultra Facial Toner, which is a gentle alcohol-free and fragrance-free facial toner for all skin types. And then for my eye cream, I will continue using my Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado, a paraben-free, fragrance-free, and hydrating eye cream that depuffs and brightens the under eyes. Now, there are two different serums um, that I was recommended. For the morning, I was suggested to use the Vital Skin Strengthening Super Serum, which is a hyaluronic acid serum with an adaptogenic complex that strengthens skin and boosts radiance. The other one, which is for the night routine, is the Nightly Refining Micro Peel Concentrate. It is a fragrance-free concentrated facial peel that helps exfoliate for fresh, radiant skin. Now, for moisturization, I can continue using my Ultra Facial Cream during the day. So it strengthens the skin's moisture barrier and provides 24-hour hydration for softer and smoother skin. At night, I can continue using my Midnight Recovery Omega Rich Cloud Cream, a deeply moisturizing botanical face cream formulated with omega-3 oil, omega-6 oil, and fatty acids that visibly renews the appearance and plumpness of skin while you sleep. And I know that my skin really likes this cream a lot. It's very rich when you feel it. So if you get a chance to try uh, the, the product, you'll notice a big difference in terms of like how much hydration and moisture you are getting from this product. Now for the oil, there was also a suggestion to use the Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Concentrate, which is a calmative, non comedogenic face oil for problem skin. And for my nighttime routine, I can continue using my Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It is a paraben-free, alcohol-free, moisturizing face oil formulated with botanicals and oils to visibly replenish and restore skin while you sleep. Now, during the day, and we should never forget this, and I have been reminded once again during this session, uh, which is to use UV protection. So um, the suggestion was to use the Ultralight Daily UV Defense Aqua Gel SPF 50 PA with five pluses, a two-in-one skincare treatment for safeguarding the complexion for from environmental aggressors. So uh, I did not get this one because I actually am still using two different um, uh, UV uh, protection products. So until I've consumed both of these, I have yet to buy. So again, I do not want to waste any product that I'm using that is also still working for me. So until I've consumed them, then I can actually try this. For all we know, by the end of this year, my entire routine will just be <laughs> Kiehl's. So my sun exposure this month due to the festivals has not significantly damaged my skin, many thanks to my current skincare routine, but with just a bit more help with the new products added to my routine, which are the Nightly Refining Micro Peel Concentrate and the Calendula 
petal infused calming mask and my skin can eventually reach and achieve its optimal protective skin barrier and moisture levels of 90 to 100 percent i am so close <laughs> can you believe it no even like next month i am still going to even more of these music festivals so i have a bit more of these battles that i need to <laughs> overcome but we will get there for sure now if you've tried the Kiehl's Derma Reader or if you have the same or similar skin type or if you've even tried any of the products that I've mentioned, please leave a comment down below to share your experience. I would like to know how it reacted or how your skin reacted to these as well. Maybe we have similar experiences or maybe you have something different. Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys like this video. If so, please do give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified when I publish a new video. For daily content, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and you can watch my live streams on Kumu. See you next time and shene and paalam.